competition and uh, in memory of uh, department of science and technology they have started a 10 years back uh, raman jump fellowship is a outstanding those who contributed in particularly science and technology they are giving the state away job to in india as a professor is a prestigious and outstanding the post these contributions made by raman jump particularly in mathematics and uh, one of my friend uh, is a chairman for ts cast uh, nagesh and a uh, sanctioned uh, parcel grant to support this uh, conference and he, pl he is planning to visit this place because of his uh, conference so many scientists okay. from uh, australia uh, india and uh, usa and uk also and uh, because of uh, busy schedule i could not stay long time in this uh, workshop so thank you very much thank you principal university college i cordially invite for this one day workshop uh, on tomorrow to 11th international national mathematics day this was supported by the ts cast and government of india for organizing this workshop so for mainly we can organize every year uh, 22nd december uh, as a national mathematics day for the birth anniversary of shrinivas ramanujan every year so now uh, how uh, we can just use members in the towers but how mathematical techniques are used we are just simply studying the mathematics how these uh, techniques are utilized in towers and in fungal infection the mouth then in 2014 the contact drug was developed that is uh, lipaclin which we use for the diabetic disability of the hypertension then it's a quite interesting that is uh, in early 2019 21st drug was developed that is you can the world market we are lacking 20% just 20% behind when compared with the world market if we are able to make up that 20% by our younger generation younger brands very indian science and technology waiting and looking for the indian brands for the indian new age more alternative more feasible way why that 20% required is to hold more economic if you look at the the indian population is more than 95% very next to the john hunter hospital so this bridge connects the john hunter hospital to the research institute so all the human samples we get from this hospital when we do all the lung biopsies now today i am going to show you something related to the influenza infection we have just come out of covid 19 and covid 19 is also nothing but it is also one kind of a virus right but what the story i am showing you is on influenza and people do ask me a question when i present that does this replicate to covid 19 as well i have not done any research i have no evidence whether this is a replica can go to covid 19 or not because to do the covid 19 research we need pc3 facilities which are higher level of laboratories which is very different pharmacology uh, my area of research is mainly into drug delivery i uh, uh, work in mainly transdermal drug delivery then i do uh, work in the area of cancer drug delivery uh, a bit of pharmacokinetics and uh, the other area is ocular drug delivery so today my talk is going to be on the topic an insight into the back of the eye delivery what are the challenges we have in terms of delivery and what are the oppor opportunities uh, in order to overcome the challenges so this is uh, the title of my talk so before i get into the eye, or it's like one third portion of the eye which is visible to the naked eye okay this is the front one third portion of the eye then behind this one we have the two thirds of the eye which is called as the posterior segment back of the eye okay in the anterior segment we have several important tissues like fovea conjunctiva aqueous humor iris and lens it's methamphetamine <laughs> but there is a traditional drug that was used for a long time in northeastern africa and the arabian peninsula and it just spread from there is spread into Asia, into Europe, to the United States as well. And 
like most original abused drugs, it came from a, a plant, a cat plant here. And the traditional way of using it was to chew the leaves or to use it in a tea. But then people started smoking it to intensify the effects. And then, of course, when it got to the United States, we isolated the chemical, made it into a powder, and started taking it in ways that made the effects even more intense. And in addition, they started to make analogs. So there are about 300 analogs of cathinone that have been found around the world.